everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kai and today I will be reacting to a new video. And today I have something new because it's been a while since I upload a music reaction video and I have never uploaded this type of video. And I know from the comments that I have received in my YouTube channel that people or some people don't like K-pop. I know, I know, it's a sensitive subject, but some of you know already that I was living in Thailand for a while. So when we were partying in my friend's apartment, I met one of her friends and her friend was obsessed, really obsessed with Blackpink, but not only with Blackpink, but with a specific member of that group. And she started talking about her story as an idol and why it was so cool that she was famous now. And I was convinced. Her name is Lisa or Lalisa and she was selected from a casting that they did in Thailand. And that's why she's so popular because I think she's the first or the only K-pop idol that is from that country, Thailand. And she actually looked kind of different from the other girls. Anyway, they don't look that different because all of them have the same size. They have very awful and restrictive diets, but her face is very Thai and she's absolutely gorgeous and it seems like she's very charismatic. So that kind of convinced me to watch and react to Blackpink's videos. I have never watched a Blackpink video. I know they are very addictive to people and people are crazy about it. But last time I watched a K-pop video was so many years ago. If you are a fan of K-pop, you might know this group, but I really liked Girls' Generation. But after that, I didn't follow the trends. Like I'm not that much into it, uh, but I definitely can understand the appeal and maybe you will too if you react to this video with me. Maybe you don't like K-pop now, but maybe after this video you will? I don't know, we will see. So to start reacting to Blackpink, I was thinking that maybe it would be best to react to the first video that they had to the last. So go first, second, third, etc., etc. because like, I don't know, like a timeline and see how they evolve, especially Larissa, which is the artist that we are going to follow very closely. She also has some solo songs that we will also watch if we are lucky to not be banned by YouTube because of the copyrights. And yeah, I think this is going to be awesome. I'm very eager and excited about this. If we go to Google and ask what is Blackpink's first song, it says that they debuted it on 2016 with the mini album Square One, which consisted of only two songs, Whistle and Bumbaya. So which one is it? Whistle or Bumbaya? The first one that appears is Bumbaya, so that's the one that we are going to watch. This video was released six years ago, so it was a long time ago. A lot. And you know how many views this video has? It is actually pretty impressive. 1,500 million views. Shit. And they have more than 1 million comments. And their account on YouTube has 83.3 million. Oh my god. The things I could do with that amount of subscribers, honestly. I could hire five editors for my videos and do so much shit, but. Life is sad. Life is sad. Anyway, what do you guys think? Am I going to like this video or not? We will find out now. Black pink in your area. Black pink in your area. Oh my god, I already love it.
That's Lalisa. She's so cute. This is very punk. I like it. Like the style of the outfits. I love this part, it's so upbeat. like that how can you not like that honestly all the guys that don't like k-pop like how why why wouldn't you like this if you like to dance this is a very good song like i didn't know this was a blackpink song i don't know if i have heard it before but it really sounds similar to something so probably i did and it just makes me want to dance so it's so immediate like from the first from the first second of the song, I was already like dancing, like I want to be on a club and dance this. Like I think they did so well with this style of music because even though it is very easy to dance to K-pop artists in general, especially K-pop groups, this is and probably was when they started out, this was unique, unique for K-pop, not unique for other bands or groups from US or the Western world, right? Because this is a song that you would hear in the club, but has so much production in it and the quality is so high. I don't know, it's just awesome. I really, really, really like it. You cannot actually know the personality of each girls right away because the frames are so fast. I think the shots don't last more than two seconds and that's very very fast like each each scene is so so fast like my brain cannot even 
understand it before you have the next next one and i think that's why this is so addictive because there is this show for kids called lululemon something like that no lululemon is is a brand anyway lululemon lululemon something like that and people say this show is very addictive because it has the same thing the shows are very short they last only one or two seconds so the baby gets addicted to it because it wants to watch more and more and more and i think that's what's happening with k-pop groups and that's why it is so addictive and there is so many fans of this genre i mean i'm not saying the music is bad i think it's good and i like it but i think that's also a factor but what do you guys think did you like this video or not do you like k-pop or you really really dislike k-pop please leave your thoughts in the comment if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe like share it with all of your friends because remember every interaction you do with this video will be helping me a lot in order to grow my channel and i really want to do that guys so i can keep on creating content for you shout out to the guys in the premiere guys you're awesome you motivate me to continue doing this i honestly love you so much anyway i hope you liked it and i will see you i hope in the next video bye